I know you've been in LA for a few days and we were doing some, uh, you know, online stalking and, uh, <laughs> online stalking. <laughs> okay, I got and, and something that really popped up in my mind as you were talking earlier about your journey yeah. where you want music was something that you always wanted to pursue. Right. Yes. And, and you were not forced, but you had to do a few things that, uh, allowed you to get back to it in a later time. And yeah, now yeah. you're really pursuing it. Uh, and we we're so happy about that. But this tweet kind of, I think touches on that. And I would just like to hear about what brought this out of you. And it was too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living in our fears. Oh, I got that on Google. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm really? playing. No, like, no, but that really means a lot to me though. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that speaks a lot because everybody's just scared to take that leap. Mm -hmm. They think that it's not possible. It's always, you know, it's funny. I grew up in a town city called Ilo Ilo City. It's a small city in the, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Growing up and like, you know, growing up with these, this energy is like, oh, hip hop is, is, is not on a good scale. Like it's not, you know what I mean? It's, it's really, what's that term? Man, I'm about to, I was about to go Filipino right now. Hold <laughs> on. It was about, it was not on that scale that it was cool. Like, yeah. you know, hip hop was dirty. It was not really, you know, on accepted. that market. Accepted. Yeah. And they were like, they always bring you down. Mm -hmm. You can't be that, you know, you can't, shoot for the stars, shoot for the moon and yeah. everything. And it was just like, I, I grew up in that environment and it was tough because I had dreams ever since I was a kid of doing something. You know yeah. what I mean? I didn't know what at that time was, but uh, as soon as I touched that music, I already know that I wanted to do this kind of thing. Yeah. So it was hard for me to like keep going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cause yeah. they always bring me down. Yeah. Like. You know, but the thing with, with hip hop and the origin of where a lot of hip hop movement started, mm -hmm. it was because people were bringing people down. You know what I mean? I, like yeah, yeah. from the, the communities so. that it come up from mm -hmm. is always communities that are oppressed or communities that are told that they can't do certain mm -hmm. things. Right, so it's right. dope that like all those people kind of like rally together and they go ahead and make that rap music. Yeah, they go think, ahead and make that hip hop music. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the same story, I guess. Yeah, I'm just on an Asian type of view. Yeah. Which is why I brought it up, right? Because it's not it's not just specific to the U.S. It's just music. Well, just world, just worldwide. worldwide. Yeah. World and like, it, it's acceptable now, like Asians, you know what I mean? Like yeah. doing music and mm -hmm. all yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, like, I think the other day, like I was getting a 7-Eleven and this uh, Mexican guy spoke Spanish to me because he maybe thought I was Mexican. Uh -huh. And I was like, um, no Spanish, <laughs> no, like, yeah. you know, whatever. And then I was just like, you know, maybe do I look Mexican here? I was like, oh, I mean, that's that's what's lovely about LA, man. We have uh, it's so multicultural. Mm -hmm. uh, people get mistaken for different ethnicities all the time, but that's all good. You know, that's just how we live here. Um, that's but, true, though. You know, but at the same time, that's what is powerful about music. Um, it's available globally. So if you live in a space that maybe is not as multicultural in person, you could live a multicultural life online. You could yeah. you could learn about other cultures, speak other languages, uh, and that's the beauty of the of it, of it all. I mean, that's the great thing about your music because it is multilingual. Um, and and also uh, besides the music, what's what's incredible about you is uh, from the beginning. Um, of your career because it took off like really fast in 2009 mm -hmm. um, is you've been really focused on working with the community and yeah. doing philanthropic work so if you can tell us tell our listeners about your foundation and just the work that you do uh that foundation is um La it's called lahing bayani foundation um i don't know how to say it in english <laughs> but it me um it's just the foundation for kids that uh because my dad is in the military yeah mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm a military um, son. And I wondered, like, for example, like, what if your pops died in, in war? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, where would these kids go? Mm. Well, what would they do in their life? Especially if they're not that stable. They're, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I told my dad about it. Like, I was just like, you know, bored. And I asked him about some stuff. So what do you call them when, you're, when your pops died at the war? What do you, do you guys know? Oh, gosh. Is there um, a word for that? Kill, killed in action? Killed in action. KIA? Yeah. Like these are uh, these soldiers' sons, like basically. Right. So all these uh these kids, uh, we try to send them to school, you mm -hmm. know, to give them education. Nice. So because you know their pops basically the reason why you know they're in the military, because you yeah. know they want to support their family. Right. Yeah. So some of these kids doesn't have support. So how do I support them? Like how can I help? Because my dad's in the military. Right. I'm not. Yeah. I'm on like some rapping, singing stuff and dancing <laughs> yeah. on TV. And like, 
you know, I, I wanted to help out in a way on an, on my kind of way. Like, you know, how, how can I help? Yeah. I don't want to, I can't it was personal. military right now, you know, it was yeah. personal. Yeah. So I thought about it and, you know, he was like, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> my dad said that. And then, you know, and my mom supported it too. Yeah. And my yeah. mom actually, more, you know, pushed me to do that. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we had this foundation. We have 20 scholar kids now that, that amazing. Cool. Wow. So we're helping wow. them out and it's a different feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The satisfaction to it is just yeah. different. Like no words, no money. Right. Just seeing these kids, man. Like, yeah. no, for real. Like when you see them and you know that you help them genuinely, mm -hmm. nothing in the world can top that. Yeah. So. And, and that's a beautiful <clears throat> example. Great message, especially for artists, you know, um, starting or, you know, in positions of influence, you mm -hmm. know, um, it's to give back. And yes. Yeah. Um, if people want to support or learn more about Lahing Bayana, how do they? Do they that? should just go on my um, website. You know, okay. I have a website. Oh, it's crazy. Hey. It's this is actually just new. It's like a week ago. Hey, so oh, you, can, uh, you can just get all my information there. Because yeah. <laughs> I was like, where do I tell them to go? Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. We, I mean, so it's a lot this. Of, it's yeah. youngjv.com. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's official, nice. guys. So you just go to youngjv.com. You can find all my stuff there from Facebook, Instagram. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Perfect. Instagram, by the way. I am youngjv underscore. Well, <laughs> youngjv, we thank you so much for just making time out of your trip here from the Philippines. Thank you, guys. To come thank through. you for uh, having me. Of course, you are welcome here anytime. Yeah, uh, we feel you're sure. probably going to come to LA a lot more. Oh, definitely. You might see <laughs> me out there chilling. Like, <laughs> hey. Playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take food up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, we will, we'll be supporting you all the way. But thank, thank you so thank much. You. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Hey. Yo. Great job, bro. Great interview. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is the right place to do it. <laughs>